Do your job properly and keep your ADC alive as much as you can and you'll get better at the game and win more. When you play Yumi and squishy supports in general that have no power at level 1, make sure to go and put down your ward so that you don't get invaded and die early. Even before the recent nerfs, Yumi has a big disadvantage. In the laning phase, you depend a lot on your ADC. If he mispositions and the enemy has an aggressive comp, he will most likely die and take you with him. In our case, Draven and Lux get to level 2 first and Zeri dies as she didn't respect J4 gang and hadn't wait for us to get to level 2 first. We don't panic and wait for the enemy to make a mistake. Draven, having low HP, tries to shove the wave in our tower and as a result he gets killed. Another disadvantage of Yumi in the early game and enchanters in general is the low mana pool and the fact that when you have no mana you're pretty much useless for your ADC. Draven takes advantage of the fact I run out of it and get a kill on Zeri. This can be fixed in time as you get some experience with the champ and know your matchups and when you can spam your abilities and when you cannot. This is a plat elo game, I don't have much experience about platinum but I can say for sure that every person is not perfect and is bound to make mistakes. Even if you don't win your lane and give up some kills, if you're patient enough and do whatever you can to get some gold and XP, you can capitalize on the enemy mistakes. In our case, J4 tries to flip on Earth Drake, which we end up tanking, as we see Malzahar getting there earlier. We continue being patient, I try my best to let Zeri farm safe and as healthy as I can. Draven makes a mistake and tries to fight us alone and ends up dead. LOL games are like a marathon. Even if you lose in the first 5 kilometers, it's important that you get the first place at the end of it. Very important for the support role, after you clean your lane and have some free space, you should go and put down some words and clear some of the enemy vision. Using the Reef Herald he got earlier with his priority, J4 opens the bot lane. But he overextends with Draven and we get a 2-4 run. From here the scales will balance to our side. Going a little forward, Malzahar tries to force a Udozeri but fails and she gets another double kill. Again, nothing extraordinary but using our enemy mistakes. We fight for another Chemtech Dragon which we end up losing as our jungle gets outsmarted, but more importantly, we take three of them out, which allows us to safely take the Baron. It's not the best scenario, but it's the best we could have at the moment in those circumstances. As you can imagine, using the power of the Baron, we open up their base and the game is mostly done. It's not a perfect game, but as we played patiently, we won. If you want more tips on how to win more, check out the video that I left on the right. And remember, always and forever, better support wins.